Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Pisces this is your reading from the 14th to the 20th of September 2020 and let's get started this is a totally different spread than last week because I just wanted to show you how you can use this car these cards in different ways it will look more like a film I'm using the transparent, uh, transparent tarot by Emily Carding okay I've put the cards out because I'm only doing the three cards and then I will be layering them in a different way like I said we open up the reading with the um, Knight of Pentacles okay you've got the Pentacle here and you've got the Knight this could be a Taurus this could be a Virgo this could be a Capricorn that you could be meeting as well or you could be having um, uh, dealings with either in business or in love okay then we he's looking towards this new beginning as you have the ace of wands Woo! this means this could be a new job a promotion uh, action action means uh, starting something coming to work or uh, creativeness creativeness that is a hobby it could also be a new hobby that will bring in the money perhaps you've already started the, the hobby and you have put it out on Facebook or YouTube or anywhere else at Ex Etsy or Vimeo and you have got a request for your product and you will be earning money with your hobby perhaps uh, you are making your hobby into a career good on you you are rising from the ashes look at that as we have the judgment card rising from the ashes a new beginning or a second chance but it is depicted here with the Phoenix uh, it is all go 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 after a slow start or a gentle start but it will bring you money in again and again and again so like a salary awesome you could also be meeting um, an, an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius as the ace of wands are is always new beginnings and like I said this could be a hobby or a job but it could also be passion you might have a new passion this could be a hobby or, or a choice of invocation in career okay or a new passion if you are meeting um, uh, an air a fire sign then uh, make sure that you let them know what your boundaries are know what their boundaries and interests are so that the passion will not burn out it might become a fully fledged relationship 
and perhaps you've been going out steadily and surely but you weren't sure whether this passion would turn into uh, a fully fledged relationship but you are rising from the ashes so I think these are two new beginnings perhaps it is um, a second chance because you found out you talked to each other and you found out what each other's boundaries and expectations is in the relationship now I'm laying them on top of each other instead of last week like this separate from each other so it's just like um, uh, that um, film because they are plastic cards and film was made of cellulite if that's the correct word right now there is a card coming in now and I'm going to put it in on top of the half of each card so that is how the story will go and like these blocks they look like the film they used to have holes in them as well but also um, edgings to say how many minutes I think that was I'm not, I'm not quite sure but it is the sword the ace of swords so you've got two aces here so wow you have action you've got something new to be that's beginning definitely also with the swords you could be meeting um, a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian uh, they could be sending you the news as well as it's lying on top of the page of Pentacles this could be about an investment you might be getting news telling you your investment is bringing in returns time and time again that is that your investment has durability and is swiftly bringing a return the ace of swords is also victory if you are in a judicial situation there has been uh, arguments or uh, action taken upon the situation that could have been a, um, how do you call that a burning point an issue that um, that forced you into a judicial situation so you seek to help from either an, a fire sign perhaps or an air sign as the air signs stand for wisdom justice municipalities institutions um, and communication this news could be uh, coming towards you through um, email text message or a telephone call I think it's more likely that it will be an email or even in the old-fashioned ways airmail on airmail paper and very swiftly clarity will be given to you the on um, the truth has come out the truth always prevails honestly honesty pays off literally paying off the pentacle paying somebody so your honesty is paying off Pisces or you might be starting a new study because you might be getting money from an institution support a grant because the swords stand for institutions like I said so it could be that you might be um, awarded a, um, a, a grant for a new study um, and this will bring in money in the long term you might be even because the air signs are for precision and also the fire signs they work to precision as the fire signs think logically about it and I'm looking at the point of the sword and the point of the wand um, you are going to put your dots on your eyes and cross your teeth so you might be enhancing your talents or your career and specializing wow you are growing into this you've come you've become um, a knight from a page so you are growing you are rising like the Venus Phoenix then we have the nine of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles and I'm going to put it here on the in the middle of joining the second card now look at this the nine of Pentacles is on top of the ones so there could be a new job or a promotion the money will come in like I said it will be returning it will be bringing rediment 
wow you that you are closing off a difficult period <coughs> excuse me you are closing off a difficult period going into a new period of wealth this could be also in love like I said the passion has turned into a fully fledged relationship because a nine is an ending and where there is an ending there is a beginning you are seeing return on your hard work devotion determination like the fire signs and staying uh, grounded really but things have been happening very very swiftly the grounding is the pentacle you've been grounded um, your partner or you might have fire or air in the chart so you um, air is create uh, and fire are creative signs you've been creative you've acknowledged that you have to take time to know each other's boundaries and work it out it's going to pay off big time the nine of pentacles I also think is like a wish card like the nine of cups and to crown the reading this is amazing I do did not sort them out to crown the reading I have the hearts the yin and the yang you've got your imbalance look at this the money is in balance love is in balance your heart your passion is in balance it's turning into love Wow you're in the center of the yin and the yang amazing I this could be a Gemini as we've got the sword I said it could be a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius but I think it's more likely to be a Gemini you your friendship or your uh, relationship uh, could be in work as well that your boss could be a Gemini Pisces and you boom balance you are in sync with the gem okay this could also be a pentacle it could be any sign for that matter but the prominent signs are the uh, knight and the swords the ones okay so the prominent sign here is Gemini if you ask me uh, to push it then I would say it's most likely to be a Gemini okay now that was your reading that was very short but it is a very swift reading and this it is so clear it's clear cut boom the sword clear cut <laughs> that is what I'm hearing you know how to compromise because you know what your boundaries are and what their boundaries are you've talked about it because the swords stand for communication you've taken action because of the want and you found balance you found your soulmate boom you've learned to compromise Wow I think this is going to be the shortest reading <laughs> I feel incomplete but it, this is how it works go to Capricorn because th that's when the divine showed up literally and figuratively the Sun came in through the window and shone on the sh uh, Sun right this is your reading so let's get back to your reading shall we you have an emotional reading so uh, it's number 10 from the emotions and in tarot the emotions that's the ten of cups so you've got ultimate happiness with this I would say so because your heart is in here Wow you've got passion you've got love you've got action you can uh, you have found each other you know how to compromise because you are in balance you're just as strong as each other you complement each other and you've got uh, the card from time to shine which you are big time time to enjoy and com uh, enjoy a contented family life loving and rewarding relationships there you go now you've got all kinds of colors there you've got the earth color the pentacle then you've got the emotional color the water color then you've got red that is the ones so that must be uh, air most probably is the blue one 
or emotional so I think then the pink must be um, air I would have to look through the deck sorry I will do that because this is also yes it's the thought the pink is thought and thought is swords so that is the swords you've got all the angels there no discrimination whatsoever beautiful so I hope you have enjoyed this reading I'm sorry it is so short but this is your film for the week so I think your wish is coming true you've got it all that is amazing thank you for watching please like and share and take care my darling little fish and know your boundaries because the fish have no boundaries in the water there's no boundaries in the water only on land so maintain that balance darlings i love you all take care and swim freely ciao ciao